Assalamu alaikum. I am your masjid crying out today. I am your masjid crying out today. Please visit me regularly to meet and to pray. Majestically at Bedu and Thompson Street I stand, a landmark which every Muslim is proud in the land. I, your masjid, is the house of Allah. I look at you as my protector. I, the house of Allah, is a place for worship, not for all talk and gossip. I am a place for praying and learning, not the place for fighting and backbiting. Make me a place for gathering and meeting. I am so very happy when I see you greeting. I, the masjid, belong to no one but Allah. Feel free, my people, to come praise your maker. In the masjid, your rewards are many times greater. You need no membership or card. All that's required is a man in your heart. A green and white elephant don't allow me to be. Everyone should come take care of me. I care not about creed or color. You, the worshippers, are my decoration, my beautiful flower. Keep me beautiful and keep me clean. Your rewards will be more than you can dream. During Ramadan, late hours to keep me company. That is when I'm bright and full of glee. On the day of Eid, I feel so very happy. It's because I'm filled to capacity. It's a day when I'll be brimming with joy, yet I feel to cry. It's a deep down melancholy, nostalgic feeling deep down inside. For after Eid, I will be lonely and in pain longing and hoping to see you again. People, when the azan is sounded, come hasten to pray. Don't dismiss it as if you didn't hear. It's a call to come and meet with your maker. Do you know of anything greater? My friends, don't let this fall on deaf air. If not for me, at least Allah you should fear. Assalamu alaikum. Jazakallah khair. Thank you very much to Uncle Wahid, Brother Wahid Hussein, who is one of the key foundation and stalwart members here at the Bedu Street Astra Masjid in Gasparillo. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Iftar Insights episode 18, a digital dawah series from Fuzz Events and Entertainment in collaboration with Impression Studio throughout the course of Ramadan 2019 at home here in Trinidad and Tobago. We are touring the country simply to bring to you and highlight the different customs and traditions associated with the break of fast by the various Muslims and Muslim organizations, masjids, etc. across the country. Today, I have a grand opportunity and I am most pleased and most delighted to say welcome, not just to episode 18, welcome, not just to Iftar Insights, welcome, not just to Bedu Street Astra Masjid, in Gasparillo, but welcome to my home. Welcome to my home, Jamaat. This is the masjid that I grew up in. This is the masjid that has molded me and shaped me in a major way into the person and the Muslim that I am today and has done so for so many of the other Jamaat members who have been here for a very long time, to say the least. Today, I want to give you a little more insight into why we refer to the masjids as Jamaats. Now, most people tend to use the word Jamaat interchangeably with congregation or flock or the membership of the masjid in particular. But Jamaat carries with it much more depth and meaning than that. And hopefully today at my home masjid here in Gasparillo, I'll have the opportunity to show you exactly what Jamaat really means. Assalamu alaikum once more. Welcome to Iftar Insights episode 18. Welcome to my home.
After 17 days of visiting different other masjids across the country, on the 18th day of Ramadan, I have returned to my home Jamaat, my home masjid here in Bedu Street, Gasparillo. And upon entering the masjid, after giving me salams, one of the very first words out of this brother's mouth was, I miss you, boy. Uncle Ashik, yeah. assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum. And, and I, I hope you know that the feeling is most mutual. My yeah. heart is smiling being yeah. in the masjid yeah. tonight. Yeah. You know, Uncle Ashik, you play many roles here at the Masjid. Mm -hmm. um, in particular, however, over the last couple of years, you have been instrumental in mobilizing and organizing mm -hmm. the actual iftar and the yes. dinner uh, yeah. that is served to the members of the Jama'ah every single night of, 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 of yes. Ramadan over the last how many years? It's about five, six years. Five, six years. Yes. What, what, what's, what goes into this? Well, actually, preparation would start about, about a week before. You know, we'll have, we'll buy everything, you know, we'll have buy the groceries, we'll buy the market and so on. And um, after we, we, we purchase all this stuff and so on, on the day in question, we have three, three, um, three ladies, no, let's say it's four ladies. Right. They are the, the team and they would do all the preparation and the cooking and so on, you know. So it starts, as I said, um, they would come in the morning very early and they would start the preparation and they would finish around, let's say, 12 one o'clock, yeah. you know, and then they would come back in the evening and they would do the after the iftar plate. So it's a morning shift, morning. break yes. after lunch, yes. go home, return, come and back come for the back night shift. For the night shift. And yeah. the night shift includes plating, mm -hmm. serving, yeah. and thereafter the cleanup. The cleanup, yes. And the prep for the next day? The prep for the all oh, yes, yes. Ah. If we have to do well, you know, we have certain so and things like that. Yeah. yeah. That that is that is wonderful. Brother Brother Ashik, I have so many people at this masjid that I want yeah. to meet and I want to introduce sure. um, all the viewers to. Yeah. But Jazakallah Khan for taking the time to be with okay, us. And may Allah reward you, yeah. you yeah, and your wife and yeah. all members of the team oh. immensely, inshallah, yeah. for all yeah. the work that you have. May Allah have. also reward you for your the, 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 the work that you have also. I mean, yes. Jazakallah Khan. Okay. Yeah, okay. This brothers and sisters is the darling of the Bedu Street Astra Jamaat here in Gasparillo. She also happens to be the wife of our Imam uh, Haji Silvan Ali. This is Auntie Beebs, as we affectionately call her. Auntie Beebs, Asalaamu yeah. Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Asalaam. How are you doing Auntie Beebs? Very good. And how Uncle Very Silvan good. treating you these days? Very good. You know if he's not treating you right at all, we will deal with no, him, right? No, no, he's treating me very good. <laughs> Auntie Beebs, what, what, how long have you and Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Silvan been married? Um, I would... 62 years. 62 years. Yes, Auntie Beebs, what is it like being married for so long? It's very good. Having four beautiful children. I mean. And um, my children very respectable to me. And I have eight grand and eight grand, great grand. And, and who you love more, Auntie Beebs, the grand or the great grand? I love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I love that answer, Auntie Beebs. And, my, and last question is, what is it like um, being the, the wife of an Imam who has a, a, a busy and hectic schedule as, as Uncle Sylvan does? Well, being the Imam wife is very respectable and uh, you have to do your duty towards him, keep him clean and uh, cook his food in time to keep fast. Mm -hmm. 
and be a housewife. And be a housewife as well. Yeah. And to be with God bless you. Allah bless you, inshallah. And and, and 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 I hope that every time I walk into this masjid to keep meeting you, to keep seeing you, to keep giving you chats, to keep giving you hug ups and everything else in between Auntie Beebs. And Ramadan Mubarak and Eid Mubarak in advance, all right? Okay. So staging an iftar every single night at a masjid that caters for between 120 to 145 persons on a nightly basis is certainly no easy feat. We chatted with Uncle Ashik earlier and he gave us a little insight on the logistics and the resources as well as the labor that has to go into putting this together and making it happen every single night for 29 or 30 nights consecutively at the Beatles Street Astro Masjid here in Gasparillo. But this is also something that requires a lot of financial backing, a lot of contribution financial contributions in order for this to be able to happen and Sheldon is the brother who is in charge of that particular aspect of it Sheldon how does how does assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam how does how does the gospel of masjid here um, organize the finances and finance this this mammoth undertaking well um, what happens is members of the jamaat they contribute to our iftar fund um, and the fund we have the fund and the fund is used to purchase all the uh, food stuff that is here. Sometimes we have brothers who have like groceries and they don't need oil, they don't need rice and that type of stuff. So by that means they um we have even pensioners who um contribute. So they are still getting the same blessing as if somebody who um has the um after it. Well, that is beautiful. First question for you is you, you mentioned the word iftar fund. So I might assume that if I donated money to the iftar fund that it does it is not used for any other purpose but for a contribution towards the iftar? Correct, yes. The fund is um accounted for. There's, there's an account that we keep separate um from other funds in the Jamaat and that fund is only be used to uh, buy food and pay salaries in the masjid. Alhamdulillah, that is beautiful. A Beirut Street Ashram Masjid, whether you have a dollar, a hundred dollars, or you can sponsor an iftar for 145 people, it does not matter. You still have the right and you are still entitled to contribute to the iftar and get the blessings of having sponsored the iftar uh, for the break of fast for a person who has been fasting during the holy month of Ramadan. And even if you don't have cash and you want to donate kind, whether it's oil, water, melon, you have produce, you have whatever you have, it doesn't matter. Shalan, Jazakallah khair, thank you very much. Don't run away, I just want to shift the conversation very quickly to this young lady across here. This young lady, uh, brothers and sisters, has been has been following us online since the start of the series, and she has commented on almost every single video that we have produced. Yes, that is so. So she has commented on almost every single video that we produced thus far. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, Auntie Savitri is actually not a Muslim, but the way that she dresses and the love that she has for everybody in this masjid and the relationship that she has forged over the years that she has been here, she's almost like a regular member of family, the Jamaat. Yeah, she's like family. Yeah. Auntie Savitri, you would know better than anybody else, having been around the Muslims of this mosque, right? As a non-Muslim looking on and having this first-hand first view of, of how Muslims do what they do during the month of Ramadan, how would you describe it? It's a wonderful feeling for me, an experience for the past, like, say, seven, going into eight years. Wow. First, I started to come when we started to cook outside with, Aunt, with Sister Shamiru. Mm -hmm. And then after, we started to wash the dishes where Sheldon Shall, right. contacted us and we started washing dishes. Ah, so beautiful. this year will make eight years, actually. And it was, it's, it, it is an experience for me on Till I reach upstairs one of these days. Inshallah. Hopefully. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah, hopefully. Eight years of service to the Gasparillo Astra Masjid and she's not even a Muslim. I mean, may Allah bless her and reward her. And, and one day, inshallah, she has made the intention. One day, inshallah, she'll walk upstairs into the masjid, inshallah, as well. I mean. Assalamu alaikum. So I have two little ladies here with me, um, far, two sisters actually, Faria and Zaria. And I don't know what they want to talk about, but they insisted that they have a message for everybody looking on at Iftar Insights, episode 18, right now. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. What do you want to tell everyone? About Ramadan? Uh, yeah. Yes? She, she, it was her idea, but I'll just go along with her. So. Okay, <laughs> okay. And what, and what, what do you want to talk about for Ramadan, babe? The fast. The fasting? Are you fasting? My daddy and my mom. Your daddy and your mommy. And when do you intend to start fasting? 
Whenever I can get up early. Whenever, that's a very good answer. Whenever she could get up early. How old have you been? Six. Six years? Oh, beautiful. And what school do you go to? San Fernando Astro Primary. All right. And has, has your daddy kept all the fast so far? Yes? And do you like coming to the masjid with your daddy to break the fast? Yes. Why do you like coming to the masjid? The food? The food? Because of my, my cousin. I would to pray. To pray? And for the food and because your cousins are here and you get to play with them as well every night. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, beautiful. So how about how about we end off by you all wishing everybody looking at iftar insights right now a uh, Ramadan Mubarak. You all ready? On three, okay? Two, you gotta look at them there. Ready? Two, three. Ramadan Assalamu alaikum. Earlier on when we introduced this segment, I told you simply welcome not just to the Bedu Street Astra Masjid, but welcome home. Welcome to my home Jamaat and welcome to the Masjid that feels like home for me. Now when we, when, we, when we talk about the word Jamaat, many times we use the word Jamaat interchangeably to mean the membership or to refer to the membership or congregation associated with a particular masjid. But Jamaat, as mentioned before, is a word that goes much deeper than that and carries with it a lot more, a lot more depth and meaning than just the mere membership. This is Jamaat. These, however, are not just faces and not just members of the Beidou Street Astra Masjid. These are some of the people in this masjid who I had the good fortune of growing up with, of sharing so many wonderful and amazing memories with, of cooking with, of learning to clean chicken with, of breaking beesh with, of doing everything good and everything wrong with. We grew up together, we have loved each other from since we've known each other to now, all because we have one thing in common and that's not personality, that's not ambition, that's not career choices, it has nothing to do with anything else other than we all have that one thing in common which is that we have love in our hearts for this place, for this masjid, for this house of Allah. And because of that love that has brought us all to this masjid, because of that love that binds us and unites us, it has created an amazing sense of camaraderie, of brotherhood, of sisterhood, of community that goes beyond just putting your name on a list to say that I am a member of this particular mosque. We are Jamaat members of the Beidou Street Astra Masjid. And Jamaat means brotherhood, it means community, and above all else, it means love. I can give you so many examples of, of, of the amazing memories that we have at this masjid. From brother Ryan, seated at the front there with the blue topi, who forced us to eat eggs and apples to start the fast one year. We have brother Ed, who has been one of our foundation members of the youth group for, for, for so long. We have all of the beautiful sisters in front, uh, who we, we, we grew up with and, and have, have so many amazing memories with. This is what Jamaat really means. And you know what? Don't just take my word for it. For now, I'm going to ask some of the members, some of my brothers and sisters seated here to share with us what are some of their fond and fondest memories that connect them to each other and connect them, more importantly, to this masjid and makes this masjid, Beidou Street Astra, their Jamaat. What does Jamaat mean to me? This Jamaat is putting 14 fellas in a car to go up Maracas on a morning, 5 o'clock in the morning after Fajr. Staying two hours eating bacon shack and coming back down the road. That is brotherhood. Assalamu alaikum. To me, this Jamaat, the Bedushi Jamaat, is the meeting place for families in the community. And as Brother Fazir, who's a member of the Jamaat, knows that we all here, we all grew up going maktab in this masjid from we were four or five years old till today, 30 something years later, we still bond together. And to me, I come back to this masjid every night for the month of Ramadan to meet the families here and enjoy sitting and eating with them and praying with, alongside them. Assalamu alaikum. Jamat, for me, um, when we're having our barbecue, waking out all over the night, peeling garlic, cleaning chicken for so many years, this is brotherhood and sisterhood in this Jamat for me. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan Mubarak to all. I grew up in this masjid and um, every Ramadan I come from Claxton Bay to this masjid to show my support because I was in the youth group and all these things, maktab and stuff and this masjid, if you are happy, they are happy with you. If you are sad, they are sad with you. The, um, this is a lovely jamaat. 
Assalamualaikum. Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, I am a very proud. I am a very proud member of this Jamaat for the past 52 years. Wow. I have attending this Jamaat here since I was about six or seven years old with my father, and somehow or the other, I cannot leave this Jamaat to go anywhere else because the, the, the people, the members of the Jamaat here, are like family to me. When I am ill, when I am sick, when I am hurt, like the members feel hurt also, and this is what draws me closer to this Jamaat. And I want to say that I love all the members of the Jamaat and the Imam and everyone who is doing a very good job here. I congratulate them and may Allah reward them justly for this. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum. I've been a member of this Jamaat from ever since I know myself. Um, my father actually, he, he, he was a, a member of this Jamaat who, who helped build this masjid. Um, the pillars, the member, everything, he, he, he worked in this masjid. My grandfather was the assistant imam of this masjid. Um, I am I'm very happy to be part of this jamaat, it's brotherly love. Uh, my entire family is in, uh, is in this jamaat. My daughter in the front row there, she, she loves this jamaat. You know, this masjid is, is a very, very friendly. Assalamu alaikum. So now that we've had a chance to hear from everybody, uh, what brings them closer? What are some of the fonder memories that they have of their connectedness to this Jamaat. There's only one person left to chat with and we're gonna uh, head upstairs before the Azan, hopefully uh, for the Isha Salah and thereafter the Tarawih to get in a quick word with our esteemed Imam. 82 years and counting, I think it is, inshallah, 82 years and counting and still um, does not miss a single day at the Masjid, inshallah. Imam and Haji Silvan Ali, we're gonna get a chance to chat with him right now, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. This has been my Imam here at the Masjid in Gasparlo for the last uh, roughly 25 years or thereabout. Haji Imam Silvan Ali. Imam Sahib, Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Salam. Imam, 25 years, that is no easy feat. What, yeah. what, do you, what do you credit that to? Well, I credit that to the way I you know, associate myself with the brothers and sisters in Jamaat. You know, the way I uh, speak to them and the attitude towards them and the whole. I mean, um, downstairs earlier, Imam, we were chatting uh, with some of the members and we we're trying to get from them a sense of what the word Jamaat really means. Because, you know, a lot of people use the word Jamaat interchangeably to say that it's like the membership of the masjid. But Jamaat is more than that, Imam. Jamaat is more than that. It's an organization in the community. People come together and two main purposes. They come together to pray because prayer, the first thing that God will try you on the day of judgment is your salat. <coughs> So you get the Jamaat coming to the Masjid to pray. You must visit as the Imam, visit the Jamaat. So that give them come to pray. And two, is that you look after the welfare of one another. If that one of the members in the Jamaat is sick, you must feel that sickness itself. If he has fever, you must feel that pain as well. You know? And I think that is the sort of relationship we have. And I think that is what we are lacking of. Um, I think we should have more concern for our brothers and sisters. Agreed. Agreed. Well said, well said Imam. Mm -hmm. um, we've chatted with so many people at the Masjid Imam and I think that they have really communicated exactly what you've said there. That sense of brotherhood, that sense of community, that sense of loving each other for the sake of Allah and loving each other for the sake of the Masjid as well. In closing Imam, um, it's the end of the 18th day of the fast during the holy month of Ramadan. It is nearing its end. What message do you have for Muslims who still have, inshallah, uh, 11 or 12 days remaining? What do you want to say to them? I want to tell Muslims that, you know, at least at the end of, now until the end of Ramadan, if you have not gotten into that state in your life, is that you must remember what Allah says in the Quran. O you who believe fasting is prescribed for you, as it was prescribed for those before you, that you may earn taqwa, self-restraint. Mm -hmm. And if you, for the rest of this month, you be able to cultivate that into you. Self-restraint, you know, to have, you know, good relations, speak good to people, talk to people, have good manners, you know, your attitude must be good. And, you know, you have a of patience, you know, all these things are lacking. Sometimes people believe they only have that for 30 days, but it's more than that. Mm. It'll be all through your life. And remind, uh, Ramadan is a reminder. A reminder that you should cultivate that in your life. I mean, Imam, Ramadan Mubarak to you and your family. 
همونه مبارک تو آلی ممبرز اف دی جماعت انجازه فلاخر را حقیم است دارید Thank you for tuning in. This has been episode 18 of Iftar Insights from the beautiful Astra Masher and Gasparilla. Remember to subscribe, follow us on the digital media, and stay tuned for more episodes, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.